Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to work on the last piece of the puzzle, which is this one. If the case status has been updated to close, means if the user, if the new value of the case has been moved to close, then we are going to be sending a case close notification email to our contact email. Okay, so now here, this is what we're going to do. So for this one, the first thing we need to do is we need to create an email template. That is the first step. We will, that's the template that we're going to be sending. Then we are going to create an email alert. Okay. And then we are going to add this email alert on our flow. And we are going to be only calling this if the cases case has been closed, not in every other scenario. Okay. So we will be using a decision element on the flow. So let's go ahead and uh, try to implement this. So we are going back to our flow here and uh, you can see here, this is the existing flow, but let's go back. And first thing we need to do is we need to create an email template. Okay. So I'm going to go under my quick find very simple. You can use an existing one, but I'm going to create a brand new one, classic email template. This is the, if you want, if there is a case close one, I would rather use from here. I do not see anything related to case close. So I'm going to just leave it as here and then I'm going to go to the new template and this is going to be custom without using the letterhead. Hit the next here. You have probably will have done multiple times. Now the email template name is case close notification. And uh, what is the subject case? Your case has been closed. Your case has been closed. That's the subject. And if you want, you can provide the case number here as well. So we're going to go ahead and capture that in a minute. So let's go ahead and hit the next here and your case has been closed. So I'm going to be using the case fields here. So this is the case fields, which field on the case I'm interested in the case number. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it over here. So this is the notification and here we're going to say dear, and you can pick up the customer name based on this one. So you can say this is the contact name, right? So we have uh, uh, the contact name field is available on the case. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the contact name here. So contact name, dear, this is the name. Uh, we have successfully closed your case number. And then same thing you're going to be, and this is going to be updated. And I'm going to have a break tag here and uh, we have successfully closed your case with number this. We hope we have addressed it in a timely manner. Let us know if you need any help. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Okay, this is going to be the message. I'm going to add another BR tag here. And then I'm going to say thank you and then another BR tag here and then I'm going to say Deepika Khanna and then again a BR tag here and then here I'm going to say my tutorial rack okay and again a and I'm going to close all of this in bold so I'm going to go ahead and put everything in bold starting from this has been done now let's go ahead and uh, hit the next here. We are going to copy the same text from the previous one and then hit the save. So this is our email template. Now, if you wanted to preview it, you can preview it. This is how it's going to look like. We have successfully closed your case with number. We hope we have addressed it in a timely manner. Let us know if you need any help and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Now, next thing is we need to create an email alert. So we are going to be creating an email alert. I'm going to hit the continue new email alert and this is going to be case close notification email object is going to be case so that's the object what is the template so the template is the case close notification right up there and who is going to be the recipients of those emails so you can use the contact email which is available on the case record so if you go over to the case this is the contact email this is the email of that person for that who create for whom we created the case going back here now let's go back to the email alert and then we can also add our own user so let's say i wanted to add the email i want myself to be received as well so i'm going to add here and then i'm also going to add my personal email so that i get a copy as well 
Okay, so these are the recipients of the email and you can add as many as you want and there are five email you can add here so you can provide those and then hit the save. So this is our email alert that we have created. Now from our flow, we need to add this email alert. Now before we do that, so let's go ahead and uh, go back here and we are going to add an action. So I'm going to go ahead and add the action. What is the name of the action? Case close email, right? So let me go ahead and see. This is the one. Nope, I don't see it here. So that's fine. It has not picked up the one that we just created. So make sure we refresh it because it's not knowing the email alert that we have just created. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the action element again and now look for the email. So you can see here the case close notification email showed up. That's the alert. Now that is what we are going to be invoking. Now we're going to call it as case close email API name. Now it asks you for the record ID. And as I told you in the previous tutorials as well, because this is the ID it will use for those merge fields that we have put in our email template. So the record ID is which one? The record ID is nothing but the ID that we are storing that is getting passed from the button, which is available in this variable. So that is where the ID is available. So we need to have this ID populated. So this ID would be needed for this alert to work. Now, not every time we are going to send the email. The only time we need to send is if the case has been updated to close. So we are going to have a decision element drop and we're going to say case closed. That is what the decision element is. And if the case has been closed, case closed, that is our first, I'm going to change it to case closed one just because the API name. Now here, if the status, if the case status, the pick list field that you provided equals to closed. Okay, if the status that you have provided in those uh, boxes is closed, only in that case, this is going to be the email that will be sent. So I'm going to connect these decision here. And what the decision is, it has two outcome. One is default and then the other one is case closed. Now, what is case closed? When the case status, when the user has picked up the case status is closed, that is when the email would be sent. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Now it's going to ask you when to go to this one, only when the outcome is case closed. So this is what we have. Now hit the save, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to activate it. Now let's have your email popped up as well. So let's go ahead and see if emails come to our mailbox. Sometimes it might be available in our junk box. So let's just have this open. Now this is from Wednesdays. So let me just delete it. Now going back to my case now, let's go ahead and pull up another case. Only in the case of getting case being closed, that's when the email would be sent, not every other time. So I'm going to go ahead and go to all open cases. I have this 1016 case. This is the case number. So I'm going to copy the link to this one. And currently this case is in new status. So I'm going to store all the current values. So this is the new status. Now the priority is low on this one. Okay. And then the account is gen point. Okay. So this is going to be the account. So these are the current values. Now we are expecting an email to be sent as well because we will be updating the case to closed status. So here I'm going to choose the status as closed. The new account would be just put it to edge communications and the priority on the previous one was uh, low. So let's make it medium. And now next, so the case has been successfully updated. And now we would be expecting an email and let's go ahead and see these are from the previous days and let's just make sure this is from that error message that we were getting right where we did not put the exclamation and that's why it said now let's go back to the junk one more time and let's see if we got an email but before that let's go ahead and uh, check out this record and see if the values have been updated so now if i go back and i go over here now you can see that okay the case has been closed we updated the priority to medium and we updated the account name to edge communication. It was prior to this, it was gen point. This has been updated. Now let's go ahead and see if the email came. Okay. So let me take a look at why the email didn't come. Let's just check a couple more things. Deliverability. We want to make sure 
it is set to all email because sometimes if it is not set properly then we we won't get any emails from Salesforce okay let's try another case here okay so let's me go here and let's pull up this is the case 1000 and uh, we are going to do an update case and all we are going to do here is we're going to update from working to closed right and uh, let me go back to which one was the record. This was the record, right? So we have the case number as 1000. Okay, so let me go ahead and store it. And over here, I'm going to update the case. And from working, I'm going to change it to closed and uh, leave it as change it to gen point. And then priority is medium. Hit the next. So the case has been successfully updated. Now, if you go here, you can see. The case has been changed, the status has been changed to closed, the priority is medium, and the account name has been updated to GenPoint. Okay, all this is working as expected. Now, let's go ahead and check out if we got another email here. Okay, we have not received an email. Let me go back over to this one, and let me check one more time if we got an email. Let's go to the junk. Okay, so email is not coming. I'll take a look at it and I'll tell you what the reason is. Let me debug something. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.